Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Today I am going to show you how to reverse the value of a string in C using swap. At first I will take a function to reverse the value of my string. You can see I am writing a function. Inside the function I am taking two integer i and n and another integer temp which I will use when I will swap. So we have to understand the logic. Just think if the value of your string is c e s then to reverse it into s e c what you have to do is very simple put this s in place of c and this c in place of s so in this way you can make it s e c so you can understand that to do this we must we must determine the length of our string so at first i will determine the length of my string if the length of my string is n then i can determine it by a simple for loop you can see this for loop will help us to determine the length of our string this for loop will terminate when it finds a zero and as you all know that i string the last value of i string is zero or you can say i string ends up with zero so when it finds a zero then this for loop will terminate and in this way it will count the length of our string and after that we will start swap so look at look at it again that if we want to reverse the value of this string then we have to put this s in place of c and this c in place of s so in this case we have to swap for once and just think if the value of i string is t i m e then what you have to do put this e in place of t at the same time t in place of e put this m in place of i at the same time vice versa i in place of m this so in this case you have to swap up to twice or you can say two times so in this way we can say if the length of our string is n then we have to swap up to n by 2 or you can say n by 2 times so we'll take a for loop for it i is equal to 0 i is less than n by 2 i plus plus now I am writing the code of how to swap I will explain it after I write it so this is all about my code of how to swap you can see if for i is equal to 0 when i is equal to 0 then this portion of the string will be 0 so I am putting the first value of my string into a temporary integer and after that so my first position is blank now and after that I am putting the last value of my string into the first position of my string so my last position of my string becomes blank and after that what I am doing the value I got from the first position I am putting it in the last position so in this way I am swapping and making reverse or you can say we in this way we can get 
reverse the value of a string. I am going to explain it in a simple way. As I said, it was time. So at first what I am doing is very simple. This is the first position of my string and the value is t. So I am putting this t in a different place. For example, this room, I am putting this t. This is the temporary integer. You, you can think as well. And after that, what I am doing, the first position is blank. So I am putting the last value of my string into the first position. So now, what is the condition now? It is now e i m and the last position is blank. So what I am doing after that? I am returning to my home and saying temporary integer please give me the t then he will give me the t and I will put it into the last position of my string. So when i is equal to 0 this work happens and when i is equal to 1 the same work happened to this i and m and in this way we are making the string reverse. So this is all about swapping and now I will write another for loop to show the reverse value. character i character slash n so this is all about our function and now i will show you how it works inside the main body taking a string whose length is 80 after that I am giving you scope to write your word enter the word you want to get reversed scanf percentage str and after that I will call my function so this is all about our code I am saving the document by control s start without debugging yes so you can see the box write here as you wish. I am writing T-I-M-E and you can see the string get reverse E-M-I-T. So in this way you can make reverse I string using swap. If you want to get the code then visit http www.findsourcecode.com Thank you for today.